So a while back when Mezco revealed that they were going to be making a Gotham by Gaslight Batman figure, a lot of us got fairly excited, being that Gotham by Gaslight is a really fantastic Elseworld story of a Batman that takes place in an age very much unlike the one that we're currently living in, with technology set way back. It's basically steampunk Batman. It's a very fantastic story. If you haven't taken the time out of your busy, busy day to go and read it, please do make the time to go indulge yourself in this awesome story. Well, the figure that Mezco revealed based on that DC Comics Elseworld story had fans a chirpin. And I don't mean like harpin' chirpin', I mean excitedly chirping, like happy birds up in the action figure tree. Now, two nights ago when I was battening down the hatches and hitting the sack, I was scrolling through Instagram, as is my custom, as is probably all of our customs, and what do you know pops up into my feed, but a little video from Mezco 112th where they're basically saying, guess what, boys and girls? It's going up for pre-order a tomorrow. And so what did I do? I got down to my computer right at pre-order time, and I was like, heck yes, heck yes. Sign me up, hitting that button as fast as I can. Just once though, J just once. I only bought one. I didn't buy like five or six. I remember the times I swung my finger. And I wanna take a look at it with you folks uh, together. Okay, so here we are on Mezco's page right here, Gotham by Gaslight. Now, apparently, there are still pieces left. It's funny, you never know exactly what figure is going to sell out right away, which ones are gonna take a few hours, and then which ones are gonna be here the next day. <laughs> I was, uh, I got my knickers in a bunch and all in a tizzy trying to get down here in time to hit the pre-order button, and what do you know, there are still available slots. When an item is no longer orderable, you join the wait list, and that means people that may have ordered it, who their payments don't go through, then the next person down on the list has a chance to own that figure. So if you're like one of the first few people on the wait list, you're pretty much guaranteed to get a figure because you're pretty much guaranteed that some people are not gonna make their payments. Maybe if you're further down that list, you're kind of SOL. So the first image is Batman. You get a good view of the figure on bended knee, on a chimney. Clearly that cape is going to be wired. You can tell by the stitch lines. The next is a close up of Batman's cowl. And if this is the quality control we're going to be getting of his face, and this is not just a paint prototype, which it doesn't look like. This looks like a factory representation of what we will all be receiving. Then this certainly looks good. Includes cloak with integrated posing wire. Told you, I knew it was going to be a wire click. It seems like that Mezco is, is going that way. The fans have been asking for wired capes for quite a while now, and Mezco, I think, is listening to their fans. Another close-up shot with different lighting. I'm not sure, but it kind of looks like that bat is superimposed over the image. Just by the way, the tippy tops of the bat ears are kind of sitting over top of the fabric that's been folded and sewn there kind of tells me that that's that's been that's been gone uh, that's done in photoshop and post i don't care i understand why here's another shot of batman in his bat cave surrounded by gothic candles i feel like i'm looking at batman hanging out in skyrim <laughs> that's what he looks like he's in like a like a skyrim dungeon where he's found some secret loot boxes and some people living down there Maybe he'll find some bolts of fabric and dried bread in the baskets. Ooh, they really want us to know about that cloak that has an integrated posing wire because there's a little oval again. Fantastic shot though. This shows you that he's gonna come with a grappling hook and a rope. I did a custom Batman that had a grappling hook as well a while ago. Here it is. Yeah, I like that one. Someone didn't like it. They got upset with me for giving Batman a grappling hook. This was like three years ago. I like it. And I don't care if they don't. Cool shot though, this is probably going to be my favorite iteration of Gotham by Gaslight in this scale. Although the off-brand, uh, not really licensed, kind of bootleggy, no our toys version that they don't actually call Gotham by Gaslight Batman, but it, but, but, but it clearly is Gotham by Gaslight. That was a fantastic figure. I can't wait to put these two side by side and compare them. This one will definitely be bigger though because the Noir Toys Batman is actually much smaller. He's like in between a DC Universe Classics and really more akin to a DC Icons in scale. Really well done though, I was totally surprised. Next we have Batman in a glider, a steampunk-esque glider harness that he, wow, 
That is cool. That is probably going to be my favorite Mezco 112th accessory to date ever. And really, you could fudge it in and have any of your Batman figures posed with this if you really wanted to, but damn, does it look sweet. Oh, and apparently he's going to come with a brass knuckle set of hands because Batman's not happy until he completely knocks all of your teeth out, breaks your jaw, and shatters your cheekbones and your eye socket. Possibly gives you a permanent brain injury. Another shadowy face shot. Very nice. This is a great shot. I love the lighting in this. And it really shows the wingspan much better than the previous image of this glider. This is very cool. I really hope that the glider is, is strong and not weak and brittle. Like, I hope it doesn't fall apart very easily. Got another image of Batman holding a throwing knife. So we're also in these images getting a good idea of just how many extra hands he's gonna come with. And I'm sure there'll be a picture at the end that shows us all the accessories. Then we got Batman holding his cowl with a unmasked face sculpt. And then here is everything we get. Look at that. Oh, he's got sideburns. The Batman's got the sideburns. Oh, I love that. That is awesome. And then the two face sculpts, one where he looks, you know, serious. And then this one where he looks serious, but a little bit cheeky. He's cheeky serious. We got a cowl down here that just looks creepy. Like you could put like a creepy laughing mouth in there and he'd be all <laughs> Six throwing knives, a pair of steampunk goggles, a butt pile of extra hands. And then he's also got these brass knuckly batarangs. I don't recall them being in the story. Maybe they were and I just didn't pay attention. And the grapple hook as well as the base, which will actually have the Gotham by Gaslight image from the cover on it they've never done that no they've all actually had a very simple motif that is a very different direction that they're going with this base and then the final image is just the glider by itself they really want to give us a good look i wish we could see the back of the glider too because so far we've only seen the front of the glider everything from the front view nothing from the back very cool though i can't wait to put this on any of my batman figures so there we have it. That is the Mezco 112th Collective Gotham by Gaslight Batman. If you haven't pre-ordered it yet and you're thinking you might want it, honestly, I would just go pre-order it right now as long as it's still up, depending on when you see this video, because it doesn't cost that much to actually pre-order the figure. Yeah, you got to pay for the rest of it when they go to ship it, but you can you could put your money away for that if this is something you really want. You could just stick it in a jar labeled Gotham by Gaslight Batman written on a piece of white, white masking tape on the jar. See, I'm thinking ahead. I'm a money-saving genius. No, I'm not. Have you seen my office? I am not a money-saving genius. <laughs> no. But anyway, that's it. That's my video for the day. I just wanted to share that with you. I thought it might be a good bit of fun to have a look at that close up together. And I guess I'll see you with the next one. Have a DC day, everybody. And take care. Did I do that right? Is that how you do a hat tip? Take care. I've never tipped my hat in anyone before. Maybe I have and I can't remember. It doesn't matter. See ya.